The Dunlop MSA Formula 4 Championship of Great Britain hit Germany for rounds 13, 14 and 15. Eric Lichtenstein won the first race at the Nürburgring. That was wet and even though he had a split turbo pipe, he was able in the wet conditions to measure the lead gap. Race 2 began with a bang as Antti Berry clashed wheels with the car of Michel Flory and that put the British Championship leader out of the race with smashed suspension even before the first corner. As Antti Berry parked it out of the race, the race was led by Jake Cook, but he had his teammate Eric Lichtenstein right up behind him. The two cars ran nose to tail, and then Lichtenstein tried to work out where to make his move. He got the toe, he drew up alongside Cook, and pounced on the outside line heading down towards the Ford chicane. Behind them in third was Kevin Corcoran, but Cook wasn't taking second place lying down. He fought back and looked for a way past the Argentine. As the race wore on, though, Cook's tyres started to go off and he seemed to lose top-end speed. That meant he dropped away from Liechtenstein and was reeled in by Julio Moreno. Cook understeered himself wide at the first corner and right onto his tail, as Moreno went past him, came Corcoran. The two of them ran nose to tail as up front Liechtenstein continued to lead the race, but the monster gap that he had was soon coming down. The turbo pipe had split as it did in race one, but in the dry conditions, that meant that everybody behind him had so much more pace and they were soon reeling in the Argentine. With Moreno up ahead of Cook, he was the man who stood to inherit the race lead. The gap came right down as they passed the pits and heading down towards the first corner, there was just nothing that Liechtenstein could do to stop them. In his normally aspirated car, he was powerless to repel them. Moreno came through to pick up the race lead and Cook died to the inside line going into the second part of the Mercedes arena to go second. Corcoran looking for a way through for third. Moreno led the way, Cook right on his tail. Corcoran sorted out Liechtenstein for third place and set off on the tail of the next of the Jamin cars. But up front, JTR led the way. Ecuadorian Moreno on target for a race win and Liechtenstein would fall further back down the order. As the cars worked their way up towards the chequered flag, it was Julio Moreno to score the win, with Kevin Corcoran, his teammate, right on his tail as the chequered flag flew. Third went the way of Jake Cook, and Eric Lichtenstein was a very disappointed man indeed, because he came home only fifth behind Ryan Cullen and just ahead of the Juratech, Victor Bashautem. For Moreno, he was the winner by just under four tenths of a second, and a delighted maiden winner in the British Championship. Liechtenstein was back on pole position though for the third race of the weekend and he and the Jamin team eager to avenge the race two disappointment. Jake Cook was alongside Liechtenstein on the front of the grid and as the lights went out, Cook made a very good start. Too good, said the officials, and he copped a drive-through penalty for it. Even though it was alleged a jump start, he still didn't get the lead. Liechtenstein was well ahead from the one-by-one -one staggered grid as the cars went down towards the first corner. Cook was second, Corcoran third, Moreno fourth, and Antti Bury up from the back of the grid. After having qualifying times disallowed for exceeding the track limits, he was soon wriggling his way past all of the Duratex and an EcoBoost car of Cullen and was up to fifth. The next target for Bury was teammate Julio Moreno, the man that had won the middle race of the three. He lined up to have a go on the way down the hill as Jake Cook outbraked himself. The car slithered wide, there was tar smoke, and he left the door wide open as through went Corcoran, through went Moreno, and through went Bury. The next target for the Finn was the Ecuadorian. He got past Moreno. And then coming out of the S's, the next target was Corcoran. Meantime, Cook served his drive-through penalty, the Yorkshireman dropping way down the order. With Antti Bury up into second place, he chased Lichtenstein as hard as he could, but he ran out of time. The two cars coming out of the last corner of the last lap, nose to tail. But Eric Lichtenstein hung on for a fourth UK Championship win of the season, with Antti Bury behind him in second place and therefore maintaining a strong championship lead. Third went the way of Kevin Corcoran, and fourth was Julio Moreno. Liechtenstein from Bury, Corcoran from Moreno, Cullen from Shouten. That was the way the top six came across the line. And as far as the title race is concerned, it's still looking very good indeed for Antti Bury. The Finn definitely in charge with Jake Cook, the man chasing him on points. Third, it's Julio Moreno. He is just one up on Kevin Corcoran with Eric Liechtenstein fifth. And Luke Williams is sixth. Fabian Welter leads the Juratech class. He's now 20 points clear of Matt Rao. The next stop for the teams is back in Blighty. It's the 300 circuit at Snetterton.